Hi and welcome to another video on the DPT Duo. My name is Nancy and today I'm going to be showing you my PT kit. I got most of this stuff for my program at the beginning of my first year. I know it's not included within the tuition of all the programs, but mine gave me most of the things that you'll be seeing today. Otherwise, I bought it on my own or just chose to get something that I thought would work better for me. Especially as I was learning new skills, I was able to weed out which tools I felt more confident using um, with patients or just during practice as well. We are going to go ahead and dive right in. So to start off, my program did give me a smaller bag than this. And although it was a great bag, definitely just didn't fit everything I needed. Um, the bag I think was mostly meant for just a blood pressure cuff. So I went out and I bought a bag for myself. This is the REI co-op toiletry bag. It actually works really well for a PT kit. Um, however, they don't sell this model anymore, but there are a few other companies I found that sell something similar. You could just look up a toiletry bag in general, but I found that Herschel supply company has a toiletry bag for about $20. That is very comparable to this and Target has like a $10 version as well. Um, and that one comes in two colors, whereas the Herschel supply company comes in a couple more. Um, so I would just look for something. You can look for a toiletry bag or some type of like makeup bag and that should hold most of your things. Um, so just depending on what you're carrying, you can kind of decide which sizing you need. It's nice because then you get to pick out which colors you like, especially if there's something that you think matches your personality a little bit more, which for me was kind of this sort of look. Or if you wanna pick a color that matches your program as well. Um, so we are going to go ahead and look here. So to start off, I do carry this on a carabiner um, hooked onto my backpack, which is why I have this here, but I'm gonna remove it just so it doesn't make noise during the video. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's a little bit of a mess right now just because I pretty much had a practical and then just never grabbed it again. So uh, forgive that. Uh, to start off, um, I did get this reflex hammer from school. Um, it's the kind that has a soft touch at the bottom, kind of poking out here, and then the sharp touch as well. But I don't really use that for those reasons. It's a pretty good hammer. However, I chose to get myself another one. And I like this kind a little bit better just because I feel like it gives me more of a surface area for which to do the reflex testing. Um, but it's pretty nice to have both too. I also have this gate belt. This one came with the kit that my school gave me. Um, it has worked amazing. I've mostly used this during practicals and anything that we're practicing in lab. However, I'm actually gonna switch to a different gate belt. Rich got one, so mine is still on the way, so I grabbed his. His is this, uh, this black one here. It's nice because it's sort of this soft material and it's wipeable, which I am looking forward to using during my clinicals because Obviously, you wanna make sure you're wiping between patients. And then he actually added these seatbelt covers, which I think is really great thinking because you can actually use this for like lateral hip mobilization. So uh, he has two extra ones that I'm gonna take for myself. And then I just have to wait for my belt to come in, but there's that. Then I have my blood pressure cuff. Um, this is also just one that my school gave me. It's the MDF. Uh, instruments. I like it. However, I feel like I, I do wish it had a larger range for the arm. So if you're looking to get a blood pressure cuff on your own, if your school doesn't provide one, I would suggest getting one that has a higher range than 25 to 40 centimeters. Some patients might have larger arm sizes, and then you can also accommodate for patients of size, which we all want to be a little bit more inclusive and it saves an awkward moment when the cuff doesn't fit. Next, I have my stethoscope. Also with the MDF instruments, I am planning to get a nicer one once I leave school. However, right now I don't really need one and otherwise I'm just using it for labs, uh, practicals or every once in a while in a clinic. But I do wanna try to get myself something that's gonna mark it off as my own so if you, I can just grab it and know it's mine. Also a reason why I want to grab my own after school because I would probably grab a different color. Something I bought myself was a uh, pulse oximeter. My school did not provide one of these. I did add my initials on the side um, and I just found this to be really helpful to have on hand. 
Uh, when I was doing my clinical experiences during the summer, our acute care clinical instructor actually used this quite a bit. I grabbed this on Amazon. Most of them are pretty reliable. It's always nice to have, especially if you're mobilizing patients in the hallway, you can't always bring the whole telemetry box with you. It's nice to have something like this on hand. Sometimes nursing stations do have them. However, they might be a lot more bulky. And then next I have Measuring tape, that's just always helpful to have. I always carried one when I was a rehab aide in the hospital, um, especially because I would have to go into the wheelchair closet and get a wheelchair that the PT had asked me to grab. I would need to make sure that I was grabbing the right size wheelchair. So I would use this to measure out the seat and make sure that um, I had the right one. You can order these online. I have gotten a few on Amazon. This one specifically is a freebie that I got from a vendor during like a student conclave event. However, I grabbed some in a couple different colors. I like having extras. It's nice to have some things at school, some things in my backpack, and then some things in the kit just in case I forget. And then they're pretty cheap, so you can always grab like a three pack um, and they come in a lot of different colors. I will have most of this stuff linked down below um, with the exception of what came in my NDF instruments just because that I feel is more of your personal choice on what you decide to get. Um, but the rest of the stuff that I ordered on my own, I will link. Obviously, masks. Um, having an extra mask in here has actually come in clutch quite a few times. And it's nice to have this in here just in case. So I have a smaller goniometer. This one was one that my school gave me. I want a larger one. And then I'm trying to get also one of those small ones that like looks like a protractor on one side. Oh, I guess I had two of these. <laughs> This is just what I carry uh, in my PT kit as of now. I usually actually carry a couple pens in here just in case I forget any for my practicals. But as you can see, there are none because I have forgotten. So I took them out. So it's actually pretty nice that I did this because now I can replenish. I think I would also add a stopwatch because I don't always have my watch on me. Um, like today, I forgot to charge it. So although I'm usually gonna be using my Apple Watch, you never know. So it's always nice to have a another backup in here. As I mentioned, I would probably get a goniometer that's a little bit of a larger size, a smaller size. Other than that, my biggest recommendation, honestly, is just to get yourself a better bag than the one that your things probably come in um, and you don't have to spend a ton. I actually ended up getting mine for like less than $10 because I used my REI dividend last year and I bought this. If you have any suggestions for me or anyone else um, as to what I should add to this kit, go ahead and comment that down below. Otherwise, make sure you either subscribe, like, or share the video. Um, you can also follow me and Rich on the DPT Duo on Instagram where we share more daily content about our lives as PT students. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you all later. Bye.